president, when he was trying to get the law passed, repeatedly said, if you currently have health insurance, you'll be able to keep your plan. This morning, David Axelrod was pressed on that point and said the majority, the vast majority, will get to keep their plans. Uh, he no longer works at the White House. From that podium, will you admit that when the president said, if you have a plan, you'll get to keep it, that that was not true? Well, let's just let's be clear. What, what the president said and what everybody said all along is that there are going to be changes brought about by the Affordable Care Act that create minimum standards of coverage, minimum services that every insurance plan has to provide uh, so that uh, – an individual shopping for insurance, uh, you know, when he or she purchases that insurance knows that maternity care is covered, that preventive services are covered, that uh, mental health services are covered, that the insurance policy you buy doesn't have an annual limit or a lifetime limit, uh, that there are uh, out-of-pocket expenses capped at uh, a maximum level both annually and for a lifetime. So it's true that there are existing health care plans on the individual market that don't meet those minimum standards and therefore uh, do not qualify for the Affordable Care Act. There are some that can be grandfathered if people want to keep insurance that's substandard. Uh, but what is also true is that the, you know, all the Americans who have insurance on the existing individual market uh, will now have numerous options available to them, and six out of ten will pay less than $100 per month in premiums for better insurance. It's not even an apples and apples comparison. This is this is qualitatively better insurance coverage uh, than what was available in many cases uh, to Americans around the country. In of the insurance market, by the way, that was uh, so lightly regulated that you often didn't know what you were getting. So you could sign an insurance policy, get that plan, pay a lot, pay a lot of upfront money, premiums, out-of-pocket expenses, and then find out that because of the fine print, it doesn't cover the actual condition that you have. Uh, that will no longer be the case. So uh, I, I get the what you, you know, what the effort here is, but the fact is, is that well, the president said one thing, and you're admitting that that's not going to be the case. That not everyone's going to keep their plan. They will, admittedly, wind up probably with better insurance in the long run, and they so they may be healthier. That should be said. But the president sold it as you'll get if you have a plan, mm -hmm. you'll get to keep it, and that's not true. The Ed, 